the alignment of the body section or the stack section as we like to call it on, on the instrument is very critical to the performance and, and the key fitting and mechanism adjustment. All too often I see people do a lot of the customary repairs with padding, corking, spring work, adjustments and so forth. But they do that, they're building it on top of a bent body which is absolutely insane in my mind because the, there's no way to get the instrument playing really right without straightening it again. Um, oftentimes these get bent easily just because they're dropped and, and mishandled. Sometimes even just set down hard in the case will bend the body. This is particularly noticeable on the larger instruments like tenor and baritone. And I've got some very simple techniques for, for diagnosing the problem and addressing it. I'm going to show that to you now. The most time consuming aspect of this job is actually just a careful examination and diagnosis of the body. I use a leak light inserted down the bell of the instrument and then I sight down the stack section of the sax. Now when I'm sighting down this, I'm dividing the tube into four quarters and then looking at each corner of those quarters from top to bottom of the tube and seeing what that plane is, seeing if that plane is straight or if it's curved. And if it's curved, that's indicating a bend. Now, most saxophones, when they, when they get bent, they are going to bend towards the bell. And this is because this is the weak side of the body. You have all these holes that are punched into the body on this side, so that makes this the weak side of the tube. Further, most bodies will bend at the B-flat area when they bend. And this is because you have two holes that are directly across from each other on the tube. Again, this makes it the weak spot of the tube. So it would be true that most saxophone bends are going to bend from here up and forward towards the bell of the instrument. But it's very easy to remedy. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. For this procedure, you'll need a bench block. I've got this one covered with uh, synthetic material to cushion it a little bit. And uh, our JL Smith a neck and receiver plug. Now these are made for different brands, so they're different sizes. And I used it in the receiver in this instance and then tightened the screw holding the tool in place. Bringing the body off the bench and I'm holding the saxophone you could see at the B flat area. Again, remember that it bent this way, so I'm going to bring the body back this way, establishing a fulcrum point right here. And the way I do that is just by tapping that down on the block. And usually just three or four taps like that will be all you need to do to realign the bell. It's really the vibration that's sending it back to its original position. It's not force. So I take the plug out and re-examine, making sure I've got the body aligned where I need it to be. It looks good, it was that simple.